Hello world, Cody here from Synths, and today I will demonstrate to you our newest addition to Eurorack do-it-yourself module line, the Erica Synths Synth Voice. It's a classic architecture synth voice with internally rooted VCO, VCF, VCA circuit, but it also features a lot of patch points, so it's also great for experiments. And now let's see it in action. The VCO part of the module is digital and features selection of 16 waves, through which you can warp with the wave knob. Sine, saw, square and different other basic analog-like waveforms are present. The VCO part also features a static minus one octave square wave sub oscillator, which you can mix together with the main wave in the mixer section. Frequency range of the VCO is from note C1 to C8. FM number 1 is linked to second animal generator of the module, and FM level pot number 1 works as attenuator for it. VCO responds well to frequency modulation signals up to 1 kHz. Frequency modulation can also be done by external sources via the FM2 input. Both FM inputs are mixed together and that allows to create interesting frequency modulation effects. Mixer allows you to mix together the main VCO with sub and also adds a static noise source. External in allows you to patch in any external audio signal, for example another VCO. The filter part is inspired by the Pollux and brings the same aggressive character to the module. With the switch you can switch between low pass and band pass modes of the filter. Second envelope generator of the module is hardwired to the cutoff control of the filter and can be attenuated with the CV level 1 knob. CV input number 2 allows you to patch in any external modulation signal to the filter. You can also process any external audio signal through the VCF by patching it into the external input of the mixer.
manual gate button for the LFO works as a tap tempo button, so you can sync the filter cutoff to external beat. When resonance spot is set to fully clockwise position, the filter starts to self oscillate and produces a sine wave. Self oscillation is great for making percussive sound effects, and in combination with the noise source, you can produce almost any type of drum sound. Synthwise module features two independent envelope generators, where second can be switched to LFO mode. If nothing is plugged into the gate 2 input of the module, the second EG triggers with the same gate as the first EG. Switch, you can select between linear and logarithmic envelope modes. LFO features 16 different waves through which you can morph with the wave knob. Also, in LFO mode, the gate 2 input can be used to sync the LFO to external clock and the rate knob works as clock divider multiplier. With manual gate buttons, you can trigger both envelope generators, and second manual gate button also works as a tap tempo for the LFO. When you put a dummy cable into the second gate input, both envelopes will trigger independently. Manual gates are especially great when you want to synthesize some percussive sounds. When you hold the manual gate button for 5 seconds, you can switch the envelopes to looping mode. Thank <laughs> you.
To exit looping mode, hold the manual gate button for 5 seconds again. Great thing is that the module can be patched within itself. For example, I will now trigger the first envelope with the sample and hold modulation signal from the second envelope. Now I patched noise source into the VCO's FM input. And now the VCO into the CV input of the filter. This way you can break the classic VCL, VCF, VCA architecture of the module and open space for experiments and self-generating patches. first patch I'm using the synth voice as a bass machine. Thanks to the great pitch tracking of the VCO and sub oscillator, you can play some really nasty bass lines with it. A second here is self-generating drone patch without any external inputs, but a bit of black hole DSP on the top. In this patch, I'm using Synthways as an acid machine together with the Pico sequencer, and that's possible thanks to the screaming resonance of the Polvox filter. Here is another drony patch without using any external inputs and just the synth voice together with the DSP module.
and as last, here's a classic synth patch. Thanks for watching. Have fun.